In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite underneath passing concept in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you take your Madden game to the next level. And today we're going to be talking about the Trio Y Flex formation out of the New York Giants offensive playbook. Um, so if you guys enjoy the video and you want to learn more about this offense, uh, I put the full ebook in my Patreon. By joining my Patreon, you're going to get immediate access uh, to all 12 of the ebooks that I've released so far in Madden 22 and every ebook that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. So if you want to join that, there's a link in the description below. Uh, but the play we're going to be going over today is PA Crossers. Now, what we want to do with this, ideally, um, is we actually like to run this on the uh, left hash. You can run it on either hash, but I think it works a little better uh, to this side of the field, especially if your opponent might be doing some weird zone adjustments and things like that. Uh, but all we're going to do with this play is we're going to put the triangle receiver on a flat route. We're going to put the square receiver on an in route. We're going to put the circle receiver on a slant. We're going to put the tight end on a post. And then with the running back, I like to put him on an out route. And so you see here, this is just like a really good underneath passing concept. Now, our first read on this play is the slant route. If we can hit that right over the middle of the field, that's what we want to hit. Um, ideally, we're going to uh, really try to leverage the power of that route. Now, the cool part about that slant route is, let's say, for example, uh, that they are playing hard flat coverage. they got a couple vert hooks on the field, and then they've got their user. So it might look something like this. Okay, That's probably the best coverage for this anyway. What you're going to notice is with this running back route, the out route is going to do a good job of kind of messing up the hard flats. And what you'll see here is if we wait on this ball, we're going to be able to hit that on the sideline just like that, right on the sideline uh, for about 15 yards. So let me show you that one more time. You do have to wait, especially if they're going to use – um, if, especially if they're going to use hard flats and then maybe like vertical hooks, it is important that you wait until that slant gets all the way across. Uh, so let me show you that one more time. So again, we're going slant, nope, running back, nope. And then we look in that little pocket. You see if we throw right there, that's where it can get kind of dicey. Now, if they're using Mabel coverage, it's a little bit different. I'm going to talk about that in just a second, but I want to show you how to beat this uh, first coverage, and then we'll talk about Mabel coverage. Um, the cool part about this play is literally you're going to beat every coverage in the game. You've got great man beaters. The out route to the running back will beat man. The tight end post will beat man. The slant will beat man. Uh, occasionally, that little in route will beat man. But you'll see here, like, if I wait on this and just pass like that to the sideline, you see how I can possession catch that on the corner. Okay, so now let's talk about Mabel coverage real quick. And uh, what we want to talk about when we come to the Mabel concept is really this idea that, you know, the middle of the field is really open. And I love this play for Mabel. Okay. So what we're going to do is exactly the same adjustments. But what you're going to see now is the slant. If I look to this little window here, there's going to be a nice window over in this area that I can hit that slant. So if they're in a yellow, if there's a yellow zone over there, typically what that's going to mean is. You know, they're going to be, I'm, I'm going to have to wait on that slant a little bit. If there's not a yellow zone, then I'm able to throw that pretty easily. Now, I want to talk about one other coverage that you're going to see some. This is just like stock cover four drop. Uh, and what you'll see is this quarter flat uh, is not going to cover the running back. So that's why I like to look at the slant quick. Then I like to look at the running back, get a quick diagnosis of what's going on over there. And then um, the other thing that I want to show you is how good this route uh, to the left side is so let me show you this real quick so again this little baby in route so if i look slant no that's no look at this in route though see how that see how the slant kind of pulls the yellow zones inside and it allows me to hit um hit that quick route now the best coverage by far for this is probably the cover two with shade coverage down uh, we talked about how you can kind of manipulate that on the outside with that slant um, this is kind of what the post, the purpose of the post route is for, uh, which you're going to see right here. I can kind of hit that in route, but it's not like an easy, it's not like super open, but it is there for me. If I want to try to risk it a little bit, uh, I could try to hit that. You know, one of the things that you're going to see though, is like if, let's say for example, uh, they do a three wreck there, uh, they put this guy in a hard flat and then they put this guy on a vert hook, you know, something like that, kind of really trying to get this underneath coverage over here on the side. Um, let me show you what happens here. You see this in route covered, but now coming right behind it is that post. And what you want to do with that post is if those yellow zones are really coming down on that little in route right there, it is really, really important um, that you hit that post route 
because if you don't, you can throw an interception on the post route, which you, especially if they're not doing like 30 yard zone drops, like they're just kind of running basic stuff. Um, so what you're looking at here is you go boom, no, no, right there. So you see how the yellow zone is sucked down and then I can hit that post over the top. So that's what makes this play so good, really. Uh, it truly is because, you know, again, these are all hot routes that you could do out of this formation. All you need is a, a slot apprentice or tight end apprentice or hot route master. Um, but it's real basic stuff. If you don't have that, you could just put the tight end on a deep dig route or you could go to the play slot out in this formation. But what you're going to notice here is these yellows are going to get sucked down by this in route. And if they don't, then I can just easily hit the in route. And you've got basically, you know, about five different levels of high lows across this formation. And it just makes it really hard. Um, if they don't play hard flats on either side, either flat is going to be open. So you see there, that was just a stop cover three. You saw that that was wide open. The curl flat zones get sucked inside this year. So if, even if they're running a Mabel coverage, and let's say they have a curl flat as their underneath zone, he's going to get sucked in on that side. Uh, on this right side, it plays it a little bit better, but you can still hit that. Obviously, the other thing that I want to really kind of emphasize um, in this video is the importance of the slant route. Um, so if you really look, you're, ideally the slant route is going to pull their user over to the right side of the field. But sometimes they're, the user is going to have to choose between the slant and the post. And then the last thing that I want to show you is, let's say, for example, um, let's say, for example, they're running a Mabel coverage. They've got, you know, a vertical hook over here, and then they're going to use that, that tight end route, okay? Obviously, you can hit your slant, but let's just assume we can't. If this play breaks down, what you've got is this dig coming across right in that area. And I'm telling you right now, that is a great little read for you. So anyways, guys, that's just a little spacing concept I've been wanting to talk about for a while. It's probably my favorite play inside uh, sh any kind of short yard situation. This is the play that I use. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video and you want to get the full Trio Waflex ebook or you just want to take your game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to join my Patreon. You can do that by clicking that link in the description. It's just 10 bucks a month. And for just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get access to every ebook that I've released, every ebook that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. We also put a lot of exclusive tips in there. I've got a brand new defense coming out today that is really, 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 uh, really, really, really effective. So I'd really encourage you if you are thinking about it, be sure to join that Patreon. It's just 10 bucks a month and you can cancel whenever you'd like. Uh, but by joining, you're going to get access to all of my content and uh, it's just going to help you become a better Madden player. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description. I put a link down there for you that you can click. Just click that link. It'll take you over to the Patreon page and you can get all signed up.